Hello people YouTube, how are you today? It is me Abby and today we're going to be testing out Dollar Tree Foundation and Primer. I really wanted to do this video because I saw Jeffrey when he did his Dollar Tree video. He tried these exact same products, but he did not wear it all day. He initially said how he liked it, how it looked good and stuff, but he never did like a full day wear test, which is something I really wanted to try because if this is really good foundation and it's from the Dollar Tree, because I paid a dollar for everything you see here, then why not, um, you know, try it out for you guys and just see, does it last long? So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to do my eyebrows and my eyes off camera real quick, and then I'm going to come back and strictly focus on this. But first, I am going to put the primer on first. It is this peach color, and it comes with like a lip gloss applicator. That seems like enough. It's very peachy. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it today. I'm very excited. I do have places to go, me and my friends. Are gonna go to um, lunch. It's very thick too. I'm also gonna be putting it on my eyelids. In fact, that actually wasn't enough. It's, it has a very big peach color, so I'm just gonna like dot it on my forehead. And I act. It is a little bit tacky, which is uh, something I do like. It does feel weird. I am gonna put a little bit on my neck too. Just to let you guys know as well that it has a very big floral smell. Like it smells kind of like Windex. Like not Windex, like Fabulosa a little bit. Not even joking. Without like that chemical smell. But it has like that florally kind of smell if you get my drift. So I'll be right back. Eyebrows, eyes, be right back. Okay, I just got done doing my eyebrows and my eyes. I decided to keep it just a little neutral today because I think I'm going to do like a super bold lip later. Um, but yeah, um, as you can see, my face is a little white. I Like you guys know, I like to spot conceal with my concealer. Um, now I'm going to take the Dollar Tree Foundation, which is called Sashi Plus Chic Moisturizing Foundation in Light One. By the way, where I was, Jeffrey made a point where it was like three shades. Where I went to, there was only two. Light One and Medium One. That was it. So I'm going to use light one today. I was going to mix it with medium one, but I think that'll be okay for now. I'm a little worried because of the fact that it looks just like neutral. And as you guys know, I'm a little bit more on the yellow side. And it's super thick. Like it's, it's a thick baby. So I'm going to just apply it. I'm going to move you guys so you can see me. Apply it so I can see my mirror. Oh, wow. It has a very um, light to medium-ish coverage. It's more on the medium side. But I could definitely still see, like, my, you know, we'll say acne and other spots. But it feels very interesting. It feels very thick. Uh, like, very, very thick. It has a nice, like, luminosity to it, so I'll give it that. Hello, loves. Okay, voiceover time. I just decided to apply it to my full whole face. I wasn't explaining anymore. But it's like the same consistency, um, light to medium coverage. You can build it up a little bit, but not as much. And it was really tricky around the nose. Like, the nose was a difficult thing for me. Did not want to blend around my nose. And I think that they need to expand on the shade range. Like, I only saw two shades, and Jeffrey saw three. Bitch, there should be at least 30, you know? Even if it's a dollar store foundation, but... It did not look bad, so what do you think? I'm gonna add a um, second layer to certain spots, like right here. I could still see like my acne poking through. So I'm gonna just like see if it like layers on top of each other. And it does a little bit. It's not bad. It's very luminous. I did not expect it to be this luminous, even though it does says it's a moisturizing foundation, which is actually something I need considering of how dry I am. But so far, I'm not hating it. It's actually not a bad color match. It is more on the pinky side, which is something I don't particularly like because I am on the opposite spectrum where I am more yellow. I'm very warm, and this is very, um, it's not really pink, but it does have a pink hue to it. So I am going to go down the neck to, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to go down the neck to make it look a little bit nicer i might have to grab a little bit more but yeah i'm gonna finish my neck and i'll be right back okay guys now that i have it um on i am actually not like uh, not i mean take that back i am liking it because it has a very nice luminosity to it and as you guys know i do like to look a little bit more luminous that's why i always do it with like highlighter but 
It is not bad. It's more, like I said, it's more like medium coverage, like light to medium, because I'm still, like my skin is still poking through, especially on my chin. Like you can see that. And if I go over it, like again with foundation, it doesn't do a lot. So I'm like, I'm not docking at points for that, you know, especially for it being a $1 foundation. But I am just like a little, I wish, I like this finish, but I wish it was more coverage, like more coverage. But I am going to go in with my uh, CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. The Dollar Store did not have their own concealer. I would have loved to try that, but um, nope. Um, so I'm going to go in with my uh, CoverGirl Concealer. I'm going to see how this concealer works with this foundation. I'm hoping it works pretty well. Hmm. Okay, I'm noticing that the concealer is taking pretty well to the foundation. I really do like this concealer, so it does like, so I know how it works, you know? And I really wanted to also see like how a concealer I really like would go good with this um, particular foundation. I am noticing that it is like clinging a little bit. You know, this is not a like mattifying concealer at all. So I think that's a little bit odd that it is clinging to certain spots. But I, if I tap it, it blends out pretty easily. Um, I just gotta go with a couple, uh, go over it a couple more times. But like, see what I mean right there? It's like clinging. So I have to like tap over it a couple more times. But it's not like I'm like I'm saying I'm not docking too many points for it. But my concealer is looking nice. If I go over it a couple more times, I am having a little bit more trouble in my inner corner. Which is weird, like I'm having to continuously tap it because it does not want to blend out. I'm going to see if my finger... Oh, that worked. Okay, my finger works. So I'm going to hurry because I think the, the foundation does not... I, it could be like the foundation doesn't go with the concealer because sometimes formulas just don't work together, you know? Like, I understand that, but it's weird. It's almost like it's eating it. Like, the foundation is eating my concealer because you saw how much I initially put on. It's like almost dissipating. That's very interesting. I hope Jeffrey watches this. Because I wanted to see, did this happen to him? Like, I'm being serious. You saw how much concealer I initially put on. Do you see how it looks like it's kind of, like, dissipating? Or am I the only one that sees that? But, go over the nose. Oh, the nose is the hardest so far. Like, do you see? Please tell me you see that. I might have to get a brush. I hate blending concealer with brushes too, guys. I prefer a sponge, but if I have to, I will get a brush. Oh, if I buff a little bit, it helps. I was just patting, but if I buff, like, pull a little bit, I don't like to do that because my skin already got wrinkles, and if you keep pulling on it continuously, wrinkles will eventually form, but... but yeah. Hey guys, okay, now I'm just like using my uh, Cody Earthspun powder, the powder I always use to bake and set my face. I always use this powder. And I'm gonna just see how it takes to powder at the very end to see, ooh, it, like does it still look good? Does it still look okay, you know? Cause I really like the Cody Airspun powder. It's the only powder I use. Don't worry, I'm gonna be trying new powders in the future too. Like as you guys know, I'm very weird. But just to let you know, like, I barely put powder and it's, like, clinging to the crevice of my chin. That happens sometimes with certain foundations. So, again, not docking at points for that because that's my, the crevice of my chin is very deep. So, like, I have to, like, like, with certain foundations, like, go easy, go a little harder with powders. So, I'm not docking at points, but I'm just saying, like, that does happen. One. But as I'm putting the powder on, it is looking very good. It still has a little bit of a luminosity to it, which is... You know, I do like, I do like that luminous finish. Don't spit again, Abby. What the fuck? Cut that out, Abby. Better cut. Three, two, one. It has a very nice luminous finish to it. But, yeah, it's not bad. I like that luminous finish. What are you guys thinking so far? I still have to wipe off some of the powder, you know, because I'm packing it with my beauty sponge. But I'm not hating how it's looking like I'm gonna add more to my under eyes and I'm gonna use a brush to wipe some of it away 
Okay, now that I have my powder all on, I'm baking under my eyes. If I'm looking for it, you can still see my acne is poking through. I'm not docking points. Like I said, it's like medium to light. It's like light to medium coverage. And also, it's like a $1 foundation. So, like, I'm not going to dock it too much points because it's not the most full coverage thing in the world. Although, I am a little, like, discouraged to see, like, my acne poking through. It's life, you know. I'm, I just have to deal with it. Um, But looking at my skin closely, like, in the mirror, um... I'm not liking how it's looking around my nose. It's like clinging really badly to my nose and it already looks like it's creasing around my nose and I'm like blending with my brush and it's not looking any better. Like, do you see that? Like, I'm hoping if I put setting spray and stuff like that, it'll look a little better. And I was hoping that the concealer would help, you know, a little bit, but it didn't do that much, which is weird because that's one of my favorite concealers. And like I said, it was clinging to certain spots, and I could still see, like, a little bit of clinginess even after my powder. So, again, a little weird. Not a big fan of what's going on. But we're going to wear it for the full day. I'm going to do the rest of my face. Contour, bronzer, blush, highlight, lips, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I finished my makeup. Put a little bronzer on, a little blush, a little highlight, a little lip. I decided to keep it a little bit more natural, like I said, because I really wanted to do a bold lip. I was going to originally do, like, a really dark gray, but then I saw this purple, and I'm like, ooh, I haven't worn that in a while. It looks cute. Besides the fact that it makes my teeth look very yellow. But uh, when I'm looking in the mirror and I look at my skin, it's looking really good. Like, I do not hate how it's looking. Like I said before, like, a little bit of, like, my acne is sadly poking through because it's more of a light to medium coverage. I would have preferred more cover more full coverage but in the end it does look nice it's, I'm giving a I'm getting a very like nice uh luminous glow if I'm looking I'm like I know I'm moving around but I'm also like like I said I use like outside lighting so like the lighting it looks not it doesn't look bad you know but let's see how this is gonna wear throughout the day because you know it can go on looking beautiful but then at the end of the day I'm a cakey ass bitch remember what happened with the uh wet and wild stick foundation my skin was a fucking nightmare so I'll see you guys in a couple hours to see how this face is doing. Bye. Hey guys, it's been roughly two hours now. I decided to change my lip up. I thought, you know, let's go metallic because of the fact that my face is so neutral everywhere else. Looking at the foundation, it doesn't look bad at all, actually. Like, I think it looks the same. It's actually gotten a little bit more on the uh, dewy side. You know, there's a, a definitely a glow. And I'm not hating it at all. It looks really, really nice. Um, I'm, like, seeing, like, that's the only problem, like, right there, um, uh, my, uh, creasing in my nose, I already mentioned that in the beginning, but it's not as noticeable, so, I'll check, I'll see you in the next couple hours. Hey, guys, it has been exactly four hours now since I have put the foundation on, and I just want to mention, um, earlier I was eating a peach, and my lipstick had gone all over my chin, so I had to clean it off and took some of the foundation off so I did reapply it on my chin you could still see like it didn't cover it completely because I said this is a medium like light coverage foundation but it is looking pretty good still it is getting a little bit more on the um dewy side as we might say um I actually did put on a little bit more highlight earlier because I remembered I was going out and I felt like I didn't put a lot but like I could see it like the dewiness on like my non-highlighted side my acne is still like poking out poking around quite a bit um but everywhere else it's looking pretty good like my forehead looks really good my cheeks are looking really good my nose is not the best I, I don't like it around my nose so far but in general I am thinking that it's wearing pretty nicely for four hours hey guys it has been a roughly about eight to nine hours now since I've had the foundation on I have some of my friends here two Fernandez and my friend Alexis slash Trinity I want you guys to give me your honest opinion what you think my foundation looks like right now. Oh, wait, you're honest with Okay. Honestly, after what you told me, I'm kind of impressed. Really? Yeah. I told him it is the $1 foundation from uh, Dollar Tree, so... Um, personally, I like it. I mean, it's, mm, coverage isn't that good, but color and blending-wise, it's perfect. And also for a dollar, it's not, it's like, I said it's, like, light to medium yeah. coverage. I'm not bad, right? Not bad at all. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the last review. Bye. Hey guys, I am finally back home. I know I'm looking a little rough. Um, foundation is coming off of my chin, uh, my no, my nose, and my corner. It's coming off everywhere, so it's not lasting. 
as long as my other foundations, but it's lasted a long time. It has been over 10 hours now of me having the foundation on. And to be honest with you, for $1, that's not bad at all, guys. Like, it's looking really good. Like, don't get me wrong. A lot of spots are showing through, and if I touch my nose like that, it comes right off. But, again, it's been 10 hours, and I haven't touched up once besides on my chin, like I said, from the peach and stuff. And I was, like, going out to dinner. I just got back, and you saw, like, what my friends said. They thought it was, like, you know, not the best of coverage, you know, not um, a little bit. It's, it was a little bit cakey, but in the end, it was pretty good for a dollar. So, I just wanted to let you know. Thank you. I just wanted to let you know that... This foundation is wonderful. If you want to get it, it's at the Dollar Tree. It was like Sash Plus, Sash, Sass Plus Chic. And it was a really good foundation. I, I wish the shade range was a little bit bigger, even for a dollar foundation, you know? Like, I swear, like, you could, even if you're a dollar store brand, you could still create a little bit more shades than three. Or for my case, there was two. So, in the end, um, I do approve this foundation. It wasn't bad. But I do think I am going to break out a little bit more because I do have a new pimple right there right there, and a new one up on my forehead right there, so, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel, remember, uh, click the little notification bar, to see, like the little bell, to see more notifications for me, have a great day guys, bye, hey guys, also I forgot to mention about the primer, the primer was a big part of this review, but it was really good, I did like it because of the fact that it held the foundation up nice. I feel like I do need to test it out a little bit more with, like, my favorite foundation foundations just to make sure it's 100% good. But I think it did a pretty good job. I do feel like I got a couple more breakouts, though, from the foundation, like you could see. But for a $1 foundation, that's not bad. I, I really enjoyed it. Also, say hi to Kit. She wanted to come say hi. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Bye.